What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released the release candidate build of iOS 18 to developers and public beta testers. In this video, I'll be showing you what is new inside the software. We've got a couple things to talk about. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing has to do with the camera app. So if you go into the camera app right here, go into video, and then press the play button, you're gonna see a brand new button right here, which it lo is what it looks like. You can now pause the video. So when you tap on it, the stop button gets smaller, the capture button is now right here, and then you can just continue recording by just tapping that button right there. It works as expected, a feature that I've been wanting in the iPhone for a very long time, and we finally have it inside this latest beta or release candidate of iOS 18. Now the next change has to do with video recording. So if I were to tap on 60 FPS up here, and if I were to start recording, let me just do this real fast, so you can actually see what I'm doing and then let me replay the video for you. So this is what the video looks like right here so far. And you can actually make it slower natively. So if I were to press on the edit button right here, you're gonna see a brand new button up here with a speedometer. If I were to tap on it, you can make the video slower by 50% and then it will slow the video down as you can see right here. And I'm pretty sure this is just 30 FPS instead of 60. If you wanted to, you can also undo the slow mode, and there it is right there. That is what it looks like in 60 FPS. Looks a lot smoother than it did in 30, and it looks really nice. And now the last change is also inside of the camera app. If we were to tap and hold this button right here, you can now change between auto, on, or flash off, which is really nice to see before, you, if you were to tap on it, it would turn on or off the flash. And to get to that section, you need to go all the way down here to get to that section. So much nicer improvement to iOS 18, and yeah. Now let's talk about the release date of iOS 18. We have a confirmed release date from Apple and I'm gonna tell you when that is coming out right now. All right, so right here it is the 9th and Apple has confirmed that iOS 18 will be coming out here on the 16th, which is really nice to see. Everybody will be able to get all these brand new features and I gotta say, iOS 18 is really smooth and I cannot wait for it to be released to everyone. And thanks for watching, comment, like, subscribe, share this with your friends, download my apps in the description down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.